hello and welcome back to another video today here again on Forza Horizon 5 to show you a couple of road racing circuits that I've built recently in Event Lab. So for a little while I didn't really use Event Lab because I had trouble with one of my blueprints that I was in the middle of making that I'd spent several hours on basically not working and crashing the game every time I opened it. So I kind of abandoned the idea of building circuits for a while, but did not that long ago go back in and sort of had a play about with some of the new props. And it kind of got me back into enjoying building circuits and using the Event Labs tools. So recently I've been making a few of them. So these are two or three of the most recent road racing circuits that I've made in Event Lab. So we kick things off with Not Mexico City, which is a five lap blueprint around Guanajuato at night. So it is quite a sort of tight technical track, which is why we're in the mini JCW GP that you saw in the intro there. But it basically winds its way through the streets of Guanajuato with some quite technical narrow bits like this corner, which is quite difficult to get right. But yeah, it's one of the few blueprints I've done at night, but if you add some lighting and bits, you can make some really sort of dramatic kind of feeling races. Um, the, some of the props, like the tyre bundles and things, were slightly unhappy on the hilly bits, so lining them up and making them look nice was a little bit irritating. But yeah, it kind of works its way through the city and then winds its way up here, kind of in the outskirts a bit, before coming back down the hill into the city itself, which brings us nicely down to where we started. So the second track we're going to take a look at today is the rather imaginatively named Anne Circuit with no chicane, which as the name would suggest, these final two tracks of the video are actually just variations of this main circuit you see here. We'll get onto the differences and where the chicane is in the other version in a minute. But again, it's a five lap blueprint, this time in the day, but with AI, which you're not seeing because I've overtaken them on lap one, basically, because they're AI and they're terrible at custom circuits. Um, but yeah, something a bit more powerful like this McLaren 600 LT is probably more suitable out here. I wouldn't go with anything much more powerful than the Mini on the previous circuit. Um, but yeah five lap blueprint of this kind of fast and flowing track here. Some of the checkpoints are in slightly odd places because by default this is a street race and when you're placing those sort of street race flares they're really difficult to place because you can't actually really see them and then when they translate to green checkpoints they're in a slightly different place which is why I've then gone back in and placed tire walls to kind of stop you cutting where you could potentially with the checkpoints. So it's a little bit wonky here um, but anyway that is a lap of this kind of flowing circuit out here in Mexico. So we finally move on to the third and final track of today, which isn't really a different track. We're only really looking at two today because this is just a variation of an circuit. This being an circuit with the final chicane, which is another five lap blueprint in the daytime with AI similar to the other one. And as you'll see going around here, much of the lap is the same although I think I probably went slightly faster. I'm getting more and more used to this track and setting faster and faster times in the McLaren. Um, this 600 LT was perfect for this, really. Um, as I said in the last one, the Mini was kind of perfect for the city. McLaren's perfect for out here on the roads. Um, the only other problem with this blueprint, as well as the checkpoints, which I talked about before, is it seems to take forever to load at the end when they iron stuff crossing the line and it won't let you quit or look at replay or anything for a little while. So just be aware that that does happen. If you were playing this yourself, you'd almost be better closing the game and reopening it, which is an ongoing problem with Event Lab. Uh, it's been slightly better since I've been running it on PC, but and I know that gives me more props. Anyway, here we are at the final chicane. This is the bit that's slightly different. I think potentially that's a little bit too tight for racing. So maybe if you're driving this by yourself, use this version. But for racing, especially if you're going to use it with some friends, I would recommend using the other blueprint. 
So there we go. That is going to do it for a first look at the three most recent tracks I've built in Event Lab. Obviously, all of them being road racing circuits, five laps long. But I think maybe in future I won't use street racing blueprints to try and build road racing. I just won't use them at all. I'll only use road and rally just for the simple fact that those checkpoints are harder to place. I kind of wish you could choose the event type before you started building. But again, they do keep updating the event lab feature so hopefully things like that will come in in future and other things to sort of make it more user friendly because it is still a little bit fiddly and particularly back when i was on the xbox it was well very slow to load in and out of it's still not great even on here and i do know that i now have a higher prop limit which is fantastic as well but it means if i build something to that higher limit somebody on an xbox is going to struggle to play it so um, you might have noticed with the tracks I didn't put that many props anymore. I'm trying to limit them as much as I can because I know that it'll load and run better with that. But yeah, hopefully you did enjoy the three circuits there. The Not Mexico City City Circuit and the two versions of Anne Circuit out near the stadium there. And hopefully you did enjoy this style of video looking at some of the Event Lab creations I've made. I know back when I made a few towards when the game released um, they did go down rather well so do let me know if you've enjoyed them because i'll potentially go in and build some more circuits similar to this and let me know which circuit style you like do you like the street race do you like the sort of road race or would you prefer if i went in and made some dirt or rally stages again um, do let me know what you think um, but for now that is going to be all for a first look at the three most recent circuits i've built in event lab so thank you very much for watching and i'll be back with the next video very soon Thank you.